Hey guys, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get the stream tip tracker onto your PC to kind of track all your donations and kind of how to set it all up on your stream and how to have the scroll effects and just, yeah, I'll get to that right now. So I'm going to go and click get started. Make sure your Twitch account is actually signed on um, and yeah, I'll skip to this part now. So once you've done that, um, it'll take you to dashboard. Um, the next thing you're going to do is go onto your downloads and you're going to click either on Windows or Mac or whichever one that you have. I have Windows, of course, so I'm going to be clicking that. They also have the visual alerter, which is what we're going to be doing after we've downloaded and kind of set this up. So I'm going to wait for that to finish and I'll show you how to pretty much install it, which is very, very simple. It basically just explains how to install it. So click yes. Next, I agree, next, save it to wherever you want to save it, click next, Loop. do you want to create a desktop? I'm going to put new because I already, already have mine saved somewhere else, uh, then install it. I already have mine installed so I don't need to do this step. Once you've pretty much installed it, you're going to open up the stream tip and I will show you the next step after this. So the next step we're going to take is we're going to go and um, we're gonna open up the stream tip alerter, which is basically just a tracker is really what it is, but um, it could also work as an alert if you don't really wanna go into Night Dev and open the actual graphic alerter. Um, anyways, once you open it up, you're gonna go into settings and into configure, and it's gonna show up a login screen. Um, so, once you go into the login screen, you're going to see that it says client ID and access token. Now to find out what your client ID and access token is, we're going to head back into StreamTip website and we're going to click our name on the right side of the screen and we're going to click on the settings and, or account info is what it says. And then what we're going to see is the account billing and then account information. And then you're going to see, once you scroll a bit down on the left side of the screen, it's going to say API access token and API client ID, I believe is what it says. Um, so we're just going to copy and paste this. I'm going to highlight this in the video so you can see that. Um, that's what we're going to be copying and pasting onto the uh, stream tip alerter settings um, as the login, that is. Once you have that set up, you can go into formatting, sounds, and settings. You can add a sound if you really don't have an alert for it. Um, that also will work as an alert, just put on an image. Um, if you go into the settings, you can act actually, you can have a, there's a little checkbox, and if you check it, it'll reset that um, specific thing. So let's say you have a recent donator and you don't have it checked, um, they won't reset the next time you stream. If you do have it checked and the next time you stream again, it'll be erased. Not from your permanent donation, but it'll just be res uh, reset on the stream, so it won't show the last person unless you know you just stay streaming forever um, without ending the stream. So yeah, um, another thing is once you kind of have that saved and just kind of done, um, don't worry about closing it; it'll save automatically. By the way. Um, another thing is for the actual alert, like the image with the sound and everything, it's the same stuff as the follower alert. So if you go to Night Dev uh, website or uh, just type donation alert and Night Dev will probably pop up in the list uh, on Google. And it's just the same thing. Only difference is um, with this is you do have to add in your API, client ID, and your access token again. Um, so that's the only thing. And it's basically the same steps as you just copy the URL, go to OBS, open, uh, add in the CLR browser as a source, copy and paste the link, and you just save it. Um, so that's pretty much the same thing. Uh, hopefully this video was actually helpful. If you guys have any issues with this or still need some help, feel free to leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Now if you need any help with any other kind of tutorials that you would like me to see, uh, that you would like me to make that is, um, feel free to let me know and I will definitely, um, eventually I will make the video so feel free to ask any um, tutorials or even gameplay videos really and I will definitely do that. Um, also if you did like this video and it was helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. Um, if you have any friends who need help with the video uh, make sure to share this video to them it would really help me a lot and 
I, I'll be adding some links it in the description if you guys could check that out that would be awesome and yeah bye guys hope I helped